TikTok, Facebook, there's lots of groups um, that are always producing content that militates against Christianity. One of them is about Noah's Ark. The claim is um, there are 300,000 species. You multiply that by two because uh, Noah was to bring in two of every kind of animals into the boat. So you had 600,000 animals in a boat. That doesn't leave them enough room to move around for a period of about a year. But um, the Bible doesn't use the word species um, because of uh, the, the memes that you find on the internet talk about species, 300,000 species of animals. Back in Noah's days, there were about 1,000 groups of animals, the kinds, not 300,000 kinds, because you will have um, different types of um, levels. When you do a taxonomy of animals, you have different levels in the taxonomy. So you have the species, you have the genus, and then you have the family. Um, so Noah was instructed to bring in uh, two of every kind of animals. So there probably were 2,000 animals in the ark, groups of animals, the genus level, not the species level. So if you take today's count today we have 35,000 kinds of animals 35,000 uh not uh not 300,000 uh species you have 35,000 genus of animals so like a dog or j Cole and a wolf they share, they come from the same family but they are different uh breeds of animals so a genus is family is animals that can interbreed like a horse and a mule they can produce a, a horse and a donkey can produce a mule. So that's how animals uh, variegate. So then what's happening is today we have 35,000 um, different groups of animals. Multiply by two, we have 70,000. The ark was big enough to carry 120,000 sheep sized animals in it. And there'll still be space because of it was not one deck, it was three different decks. A lot of people uh, think of the ark as one huge uh, hull. It, that isn't the case. So in uh, Genesis 6.15, we read that this is how you are to build the ark. The ark is to be 300 cubits long, 50 cubits wide, and 30 cubits high. So a cubit will be from the elbow to the tip of the longest finger. So a cub the word cubit means elbow. So... In Old Testament time, they would use a royal cubit or a long cubit. So it will be the length from here to here, plus these four fingers. So the arc would have been anywhere between 140 to 155 meters long. Uh, the arc would be like uh, very high. If you stack three giraffes uh, on top of each other's head, that's how tall um, the, the arc was. And it's... Uh, the width of it, if you put three buses side by side, that's how wide the, the arc was. It would carry about 500 um, railway uh, cars or about 480 trucks, um, well, medium-sized trucks. So the arc was huge. There was enough capacity to carry everything. Uh, so people have to read into the Bible they are 21st century thinking by saying species instead of saying kind. And by doing that, they miscalculate. And they will always miscalculate because of when you look at the, when you look at the, the issues, uh, why people always don't understand the Bible, something called elocutionary effect, because the Bible is supposed to be interpreted in the community of faith. If you're outside the community of faith, you won't understand what's inside. Uh, if you are outside a family dispute uh, and you're observing how they solve a problem, you may not appreciate how they go about solving the problem. But as a family, they have loyalties, they have a history. So they will resolve a problem in a different manner than you, an outsider, would approach the problem. And that's fine. As long as the family is uh, coherent and people understand each other, that's fine. So the Bible, if you read the Bible with uh, incriminating eyes, if you read the Bible with uh, judgment, simple things that are clear to a child will not make sense to you uh one example made by 
Keith Matheson said that if you break into a house and you find a letter written from husband to wife, a love letter, Valentine's Day message, whatever, or anniversary message, uh, you'll understand the words that somebody loves somebody, that uh, somebody is um, uh, touched and somebody is moved. You'll understand the words and the subject and the verb that they agree. You'll understand all those things, but you won't connect with the message because of it's not addressed to you and you are not the one penning the letter. You are an outsider observing a phenomena outside of yourself. So in order to understand the Bible, you have to approach it with faith. Outside of faith, uh, simple things won't make sense to you.